Hi, I'm Pete Richards and I'm the Innovation Lead for Henry Schein Veterinary Solutions. I'm here today to talk to you about differentiated innovation and what we're doing to achieve this. Innovation can come in varying sizes. It can be smaller and incremental, such as adding face recognition to log into the PIMS, up to developing an AI-powered assistant to help a vet during a consultation. As long as it solves a customer problem in a unique way, then it is differentiated innovation. Why do we need to do this? There are two main reasons. The first is that our customers have real problems that they're currently struggling with every day, and we can help solve these problems for them. The second reason we must do this is that if we don't, then our competitors will. How are we going to achieve innovation? The first thing that's been done is that my role has been created, Innovation Lead. This is the first time that there has been a dedicated role in Henry Schein Veterinary Solutions for innovation. This does not mean that I'll be the sole creator of innovation. In fact, it's the opposite of this. As Chris Dollar said in his presentation, everyone will contribute to innovation. Part of my role will be to help create a culture of innovation in the company. The first thing we need to understand is what problems are our customers experiencing? Unless we know this, we will not be able to solve their problems. Much of this will mean talking more to our customers, including any educational events we run for them. We also need to strengthen the relationships we have with the veterinary universities. Once we understand our customers' problems, then we can start thinking of innovation. There are many ways of doing this, but one way is using an ideation session. This is where a small group of people will approach a customer problem using certain techniques to generate a lot of potential solutions. This is a great way to start to generate the culture of innovation in the company, as anyone and everyone can be involved in these sessions. Sometimes, to understand a technology or solution better, a proof of concept will be generated. These are great ways of letting the rest of the company know the potential for how different technologies can solve customer problems. So that is what we plan to do. How much have we done so far? Well, we started discussions with several universities. I've run the first ideation session in the Edinburgh office in May. This was a great success, and over the next few months, I'll be running more of these at both Edinburgh and Teal. The intention is that we can create a format that can be easily picked up by any team, and I can see these sessions being taken to more regions. We have created several proof of concept projects already, and I will talk a little bit about these next. The first of these was using the Amazon Dash button. For those of you who have not already seen one of these, it's a button that you press to order items through Amazon, for example, more washing powder. Amazon provide a developer version of the button. This proof of concept project just sends an SMS to my phone when it is pressed. So no order has been placed for dog food, but by creating this project, it has given us an understanding of the technology and how we now have something tangible that might spark ideas to help us solve real customer problems. Last year, I was involved in a project at Vet Street looking at machine learning. The outcome of this was a demo that I created in RoboVet, which uses machine learning to classify a scheme. For example, wellness, staff discount, charity, and so on. This is the first instance I'm aware of where machine learning is used in the Henry Schein Veterinary Solutions PIMS. So how is this useful? Well, much of the future innovation is likely to focus around machine learning and AI. This relies not just on a large amount of data, but also the right sort of data, data quality. Machine learning is great at data cleansing. In this specific case, if you wanted to benchmark a practice, then knowing if it uses wellness plans could be significant. The last demo I want to show you is Alexa. So just the mention of a name has woken her up for all of you remote workers. Let me show you the demo. Alexa, open my vet practice. Hi gorgeous, what can I do for you? What pets do I have? Your pets are Henry and Maisie. What else can I help you with? When is Maisie's vaccination due? Maisie's vaccination is due on 12th November. The names of the pets and the vaccination date were hard coded for this demo, but the rest is using proper Alexa functionality. Like the dash button demonstration, this has given us a good understanding of what is required to create an Alexa skill. And I expect you're already thinking of ways that you could use Alexa for either pet owners or our customers. So that is a quick overview of what differentiated innovation is and what we've been doing so far. If you have any questions or comments, then get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.